right, so it's just me today in the bus. Um, gonna be doing some work on the bus today, but basically I woke up this morning and the cold snap's kind of over, which is awesome. So it's like just over freezing. I think it's maybe around 36 this morning, but it's pretty wet. We got some snow last night, probably half to three quarter inches and then uh, turned to rain. So just a bunch of slush on the ground right now. It's still raining actually. So just wet, dreary, kind of chilly morning. I just fired up the wood stove um, yesterday or the day before. I was working on these cabinets up here. I did. Uh, I didn't film uh, finishing them up, but basically, those boards along the top there are just nailers for the face plates. And I was doing all the nailers in there. I have more to do that are left and right, and in other spots, just uh, there's a lot of that to do. But what I'm planning on doing today is actually knocked over the square. Um, planning on working with this wheel well here. So these wheel wells. Well, this one in particular, we had to take the fiberglass cover off of it. So on this side, you can see it's covered in fiberglass. But on this one, we took the fiberglass cover off when we first bought it because we were having wiring issues and mice had chewed through all these wires. So we had to take it off to repair it. And uh, we had to cut it off because it was all riveted. Um, it kind of got cut up, broken. So we can't put the fiberglass back on. So what we're going to do is box this with wood. And then up here on top is where the refrigerator is going to sit anyways. So I'm thinking about taking this today, basically framing out around the corners, um, you know, putting boards along here so I can put plywood on top of that. Um, so I'm going to go, I guess I'm going to do that today. Hopefully we get that done. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I want to do some sort of insulation in here as well, um, just because there's no insulation between this is just metal that goes straight through to the wheel well and um, you know a lot of cold comes through that just because metal conducts the heat really well so we'll figure out as we go how we're going to do this today but uh, over the last couple of weeks I've been working on the bus a lot more and it's been really really cold so we've been cutting a lot of firewood and going through it pretty quick with the wood stove um, previously I had been cutting up firewood with honestly just with this uh, little sawzall here I have a little bit more aggressive of a blade for that but it's just slow it takes forever so the other day I picked up this which is just a Milwaukee electric chainsaw um, it's got an 8 inch bar so it's pretty small you know 8 inch bar there decent um, it's a skinnier chain than like most big chainsaws but it's obviously battery powered it doesn't take any um, gas or anything but it does take bar oil still um things pretty handy cut some wood up with it the other day um but i'm gonna go cut a little bit more because i i would like to uh have a decent little stockpile for the next couple of days while we're working on the bus to get us through the weekend um so we can get a lot more done in here so i'm gonna go cut some firewood up and then we'll come back in we might split a little bit of it um into smaller chunks for starting fires and then i think we're gonna move to working on this wheel well
basically my plan is to take boards and go up the edge here over and around the wheel well um, but they have to stick up high enough to get the plywood to go over top of all of the wires airlines this is coolant lines for the heaters up front air conditioning lines everything that runs from the engine to the front um, basically runs through here goes through the floor here and then goes under the bus the rest of the way back so all I got to do is get boards here high enough to cover all this with plywood so I think I'm going to go up this side up and over the top up this side up and over the top and right here where it's got this weird scallop in it I'm going to have to work out something there but for now right now I'm just kind of repairing all the edges getting everything out of the way that doesn't need to be here um, there's a lot of like pieces of rubber and plastic and paper all over the place and I think I'm gonna just use those two and a half inch wide boards on end because two and a half looks like it's just enough to get me out over the top of all these bolt heads without cutting them off and then um, it's enough to cover all of the airlines and all that stuff even up top as well so what I'm gonna do is cut a couple of these first ones and I think I'm going to try and cut 45s so that they mate together um, pretty well here. At least is what I'm going to try to do. So this one I'm going to cut, I'll just do 13 and 3 quarters. And then this one's kind of in an awkward spot. Um, I can do this one probably 13 and a half. To make it easy on myself so we'll cut those two and then see how hard it is to get those installed on here This one this is the longer one so what we'll do is we'll try and screw this on right up to the edge here like that and then the next one even though this isn't the right one the next one should come down and huh apparently I have no idea what I'm doing it has become clear to me I have no idea how to use a square anymore at least not to measure angles Well, thanks for watching me struggle through that. I'll probably cut that out or fast forward it, but I think this is still going to be wrong because I just at this point have no faith in my knowledge of squares. Ah, it's pretty close. Well, the edge of this is a little goofy, but... Well, it looks to be the right angle, so I think the idea is right. Just uh, this little hump here is kind of a pain, but if I screwed it on like that, I think I think that works. So let's go with that.
pretty firm. It holds. It's not actually going to be like severely load bearing, so I'm not super worried about it being perfect, but you can see that this process is going to take me forever. So what I'm going to do is maybe time lapse some of it, and if you run out of battery, I'll bring you back when I'm done. <laughs> All right, so I'm done here boxing all this out. I'm gonna show you guys what I did and why, um, just to explain what you know what I was thinking when I did it. And then I'm gonna probably leave it like this for tonight and leave the paneling for another day. That way Gwen and I can discuss what we want it to look like um, as a finished product and what we wanna panel it with. So a finished product, I ended up with this. Basically, I boxed out the whole wheel well with you know these boards standing off high enough to where when I run a flat panel across the top here it won't um, hit any of these lines wires air hoses etc um, across the back here we come up here and there so there'll be a panel here a panel here and I think I'm gonna put one more board here down the middle just as a support for the center of this panel because this is actually going to be the inside of the um, cabinets like un under the counter here so this is gonna be using really thin paneling most likely. 
doesn't have to look good. And that way, if I put a brace here, it'll have something to screw it into so it won't flex as much. You can see that I supported it here with some two by fours to get it a little higher and then took it in there. And that's because the wheel well jogs down because the heater hoses run through it. And I didn't want the finished product to have this weird jog to it. So I stood it up like that, supported it. And then in the middle here, I know it's crooked, but I was working with what I could the way the hoses were running. All this is, is for the middle of the plywood that's gonna run across here just to rest on because there's gonna be the weight of the refrigerator. So that plywood's gonna be on top of this board, this board, this board, and then the back one. So this is just for the middle. I don't even think I'll screw anything to it. But in the front here, you can see I just went vertical with it instead of carrying down the front of the wheel well here and trying to come across the front with paneling. And I did that because these heater hoses jog out as well as the AC lines, which you can't really see. And then in the back here, you have this electrical access panel. And um, if I had come down, I would have covered up the bottom of it and you wouldn't be able to pull the cover off of that panel. So I'm just gonna go straight down with it. And I think we'll figure out how to make this stuff look better in the future once we have our wall in here and then know where the seat moves and all of that so we can dress that up later i think that as a finished product though for now this is a pretty good um i guess solution to the problem that we have and i think it'll look good once it's done i think we'll also panel this here after doing some probably pr15 paint on this to keep it from rusting um the majority of the construction of this bus is actually aluminum however um, the wheel wells and stuff here are all steel and at first I thought it was a stainless but with how much rust there is I just can't unless it's a really low grade stainless either way we're going to paint it with like POR 15 which is a black paint that um, it ends it doesn't end but it inhibits the rusting process and kind of just stops it and then covers it up you can see over here not very well but we painted it with some black spray paint and it's actually rusting through that paint already and that's kind of a bummer so i think we're gonna pr15 it and it shouldn't rust through the pr15 so well anyways that's where we're at for today's project i think uh i'm gonna wrap it up for the day so i guess we'll see you guys on the next one